Do you ever wish you could create your own anime without learning how to use expensive, complicated tools? Maybe you want to create something like this or this. These are pretty incredible, I think. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to generate your own original anime in minutes using a free tool called Poyo AI. No complex skills or artistic experience required. In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use Poyo AI, the entire process for creating amazing anime videos, and I'll also give you my favorite tips and tricks for perfect videos every single time. Before we dive in, make sure you head over to poyo.ai or click the link in the description to join Poyo for free. Trust me, you'll want to follow along with this tutorial as we go, and it's so easy to sign up. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, so here we are inside of Poyo. This is the home dashboard. This front page here shows some of the videos that are being created using Poyo from some of our other users. In this video, we're going to be focusing on AI animations, specifically anime style animations, right? So on the right here, we have the feed. And this is for everything that you generate inside of Poyo, no matter which page you're on, it's gonna show up all right here in one feed. So the only thing that is specific to this page is this panel here in the middle. And this is all of the different settings you can play with to generate your anime. So the only thing that you have to add is a prompt and it could not be easier with Poyo. So if we click generate with AI, we're able to input a basic prompt here and then the AI will make it better. So I wrote a hand-drawn fantasy world with floating islands and mystical creatures. So if I click continue, watch what happens it takes my prompt and makes it more powerful. It makes it better for the AI model. So it wrote a hand-drawn fantasy world with floating islands, lush greenery and whimsical creatures dancing in the clouds. Perfect. So I wrote that one specifically with the Heao Miyazaki style. I don't know if I pronounced this right. Be patient with all my pronunciations for these different styles, but I specifically wrote that prompt for this with this one in mind. It has a very unique style featuring kind of a hand-drawn fantasy world. So if we click on it, it's selected for us. And now let's talk about what else is going on on this panel. So for the resolution, you can choose up to 1080p, but as you can see, the credit goes from 25 to 50. So if you're not sure what you want to create, then just go with 720 and you can experiment or even 360 to give you an idea of what you're creating. And then you can go up to 1080p, but we're just gonna do 1080p for these examples. They look really good for you guys. For the video length, you can choose between four and eight seconds. We'll do four seconds for this video so that the generations are quick so we can do more generations. The motion range determines how much motion is going to be happening from your subjects in the video or maybe in the, the background. So if you want to control that, you can go up to large, which will give you lots of movement, but we're just going to leave it at auto and let the AI decide how much movement to include in the generation. Beneath that, you can choose an aspect ratio. We're just going to go with 16 by nine for this example. And then you have two toggles here at the bottom. The public visibility toggle determines if what you generate shows up in the explore page and the copy protection toggle protects whatever you use to create the generation. So if let's say you've uploaded an asset, which is not applicable in this case, but let's say you want to keep your prompt private, both of these things can be protected so that people can't see them or steal them. So we'll leave that on, but it doesn't really matter unless you turn on public visibility. So those are all the settings. The credits required for this generation are 50. Let's get the generation started. So that generation will take five minutes to create. So let's go ahead and get another one started. So for this example, let's go ahead and choose a style so we know what we're working with. Let's do the Makoto Shinkai style next. This one's unique for having hyper detailed backgrounds and stunning lighting effects. So let's see if we can take advantage of that in this generation. So if we click generate with AI, I wrote sunset over a neon lit city. Let's click continue and see what it creates. A breathtaking sunset paints the sky in vibrant orange over a city skyline. Let's try that one. We're gonna leave all the settings the same and we're going to click create on this one. So that one's gonna to get to work and let's get one more queued up. So this time let's do the Katuhiro Otomo style. This one is great for dystopian themes, kind of like cyberpunk aesthetics. So let's go ahead and generate something in that realm. So I wrote a man in a high speed chase through a futuristic city. Let's click continue and the AI will improve it. Let's try this first one and just see what happens. So we'll leave all of the different settings the same again and we'll click create. 
on that one. So let's let those generate. I will cut to the finished videos as soon as they're done. We'll see how those turn out. And then after that, we'll do a few more generations so you guys can see a few more of the styles that are available to you inside of Poyo. Okay, so the generations are complete and we got some really cool results, guys. So if I open it up here a little bit bigger, we can see this hand-drawn fantasy world with floating islands, whimsical creatures dancing in the clouds. So we only catch a brief glimpse of the creatures on the, <laughs> on the rock here, but they are dancing around. This is just amazing. It really looks accurate to anime. The prompt is accurate. Everything is just really impressive. You can see the resolution is 1080p. It's four seconds. We can regenerate this prompt if we want. We can upscale this to 4K resolution if we want. This is, which is huge. You know, if you're using something that you've generated in a creative project, having that 4K resolution gives you so much more to work with. If you want to use this in another anime video, you can choose the video to anime button here and you can create even more things. Beneath that, you have a few little controls here. You can favorite what you've created. You can share it by copying the link or you can share it to social media. And then you can also go here to publish or download with or without a watermark or delete the image if you want. So lots of options. And it's really just, it just couldn't be easier, right guys? And now let's look at this next generation. This one is okay. I don't love this generation. I think that we could have gotten a better result maybe. It definitely was accurate to the prompt. It is a sunset with vibrant oranges and pink hues. It's in the anime style but it's not the best, probably because I didn't include a subject in the prompt. So if we had something happening close up, maybe we would have gotten a better result. Regardless, it's still really cool. Beneath that, we have this one where I did include a subject. This video tells a whole story in four seconds and everything about this is amazing. You know, it, you get the really creative camera angle as everything shifts around him. You have the traffic coming in and out of frame. It's just an amazing video and the fact that an AI created this video in just a few seconds is astounding. I just, I don't even comprehend how it's possible, but thankfully I'm just the guy that makes the videos. Regardless, this is insane. This is the Katsuhiro Atomo style. So let's go ahead and do three more just so you guys can get a better idea of the different styles inside of Poyo. Next, let's try the Mamoru Hosoda style. Probably butchered that. Okay, so I wrote a girl walked through a sunlit village hair flowing in the wind and the AI will analyze that. This first one looks great. Let's see if we can get some blooming flowers. We're going to do the 1080p settings. This time let's try the one by one just to change it up and let's click create. Now while that's generating let's go ahead and do another style. Let's go with this Masaki Yuasa style. So let's clear out this prompt. Let's click generate with AI. I wrote boy eats dinner at a tiny ramen shop and the AI will analyze that. That first one looks amazing. And we'll go with nine by 16, something you maybe you could use in short form video on social media. Let's click create on that one. And let's go ahead and get one more going. Let's do this Takahata style here. So I wrote, young man dashes forward, his eyes burning with determination as he dodges a flurry of attacks. And we'll let AI analyze. So let's go with this first one. A young man sprints ahead. That one's loaded in. We'll do nine by 16 again. And let's click create. So we've got three more styles generating. We'll let those finish up and then I will cut to the finished videos so you guys can see what's going on with these. Okay, those are done and let's check them out. Here we have the girl walking through a sunlit village. Okay, so that was cool. I actually thought it forgot to show the girl and it was just panning. There are definitely colorful houses and blooming flowers. So the AI nailed this one, I have to say. It looks amazing. And then next we have this video of a anime boy and inside a tiny ramen shop. The way he jumps up into the stool looks a little bit weird but the style is really cool. It almost has like a more realistic style in the environment, but then the characters are, you know, still that anime style, just really cool. And, you know, this isn't the best generation that we've gotten, but some of the, uh, the background is, has some additional movement from this other character, which is cool. And it doesn't, it does uh, stick to our prompt super well. So we get the slurping noodles and just the sheer delight that emotion is definitely captured on this boy's face. So it is a pretty great result 
overall. And then finally we have this video of a young man sprinting ahead in determination as he's evade as he evades a barrage of fierce attacks. And you know, it nailed this. This is incredible. We it feels like we're caught in this moment with him. It's um, an engaging shot, really dynamic with with the you know smoke and whatnot in the foreground of the image, and then we've got more of it in the background. But it's all just perfectly positioned to kind of keep him in the center as the focus. It's just a very artistic shot that it's just incredible that AI can even do this, right? So there you have it, guys. That is AI animation generation inside of Poyo. And I think we got some incredible results. You guys have to try this out for yourself. That's just the beginning of what you can do with Poyo. There is image to video generation. We have text to video generation. You can generate consistent characters, even in anime styles. Using source images, you can create the same face repeatedly. You can turn a simple video into an anime. So if you filmed a video of yourself and you want to make it an anime, you can do that with stylized anime styles and other kinds of styles here and on top of that there's even more things so we've got a whole library of different video effects that you can apply to various images and things and we have all kinds of styles so many different things to choose from we have image to image generation we have ai video editing tools like an upscaler and enhancer so many things inside of poyo it's truly the best all-in-one tool if you're doing image or video generation. It combines so many different models into one place where it's so easy to manipulate them and use them for whatever your project, whatever you're working on. It just could not get more powerful, but also simple. It's, it's just an incredible package. So definitely go check out some of these other features as well. And there you have it, guys. You've seen how easy it is to create amazing videos with Poyo AI. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Remember, if you haven't already, head over to poyo.ai or click the link in the description to join for free. The platform is super user-friendly as you just saw and you'll be amazed at what you can create. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and I'm going to put some more videos up on the screen that I think you should watch as well. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.